How you guys doing today? Felonious Bitcoin here. This video today is going to be about a, a news article I read last night um, from multiple sources, basically saying that uh, Trump feels that we're going to have a vaccine this year and it's going to be distributed by the military. I'm not sure about you guys, but personally, I don't know if I want the military to be giving my vaccine to me. I'm all set. You know what I mean? And for those that want the vaccine, more power to them. But if this is if this becomes a non-optional thing, I think that we're going to have big problems. So there's going to be some people out there that don't want this vaccine or feel that they don't need this vaccine because of a multitude of reasons. Um, the first reason, can you really trust your government? Who can honestly answer me that? That's the first problem you're going to have is that you can't trust your government. So what is that going to do to the U.S. dollar? That's going to destroy the dollar. The confidence that people have or did have in the past for the US dollar is gonna be completely destroyed because of uh, inflation. And not just that, but what happens when we run into price controls? That's another thing to think about that I don't see a lot of people talking about these days is price controls. I think that's a major thing that is gonna be happening in the future. Um, maybe not just at the business level, but at the federal level. The federal government is gonna set the prices of goods and services and then uh, you're going to start seeing major shortages at the store, you know, if you're not already. We're already starting to see these shortages. We're starting to see these supply chains breaking down. And it's just compounded by the government's uh, intervention to try to fix things, to make things better. You know, we got the Federal Reserve telling us, oh, we're not going to lower interest rates, you know. And then last year they did that three times, right? And then they also uh, tell us we're in a booming economy. Trump was right on board with that bullshit story too. Oh yeah, this is my economy. He's taking responsibility. I'd like to see him take responsibility now. That's the thing that you'll never see these people do. Take responsibility for the wrongdoings that they've done, you know? But when things are good, that's when they're like, oh yeah, it's all because of me. I mean, come on now. Everybody can see through this this ruse, this veil that they're pulling over everybody's eyes, you know? It's, um, you know, this shitstorm has to stop at some point and hopefully it stops soon because these problems just continuously get worse made uh, possible by this government that we have that likes to be into every little detail in everybody's life. Where's the freedom? Where did our freedoms go? You know, they've slowly over time, like the frog in boiling hot water, everybody, I think all you guys know about that. Um, they pretty much did that to us, you know, start taking away rights slowly over time. That way people don't notice, oh, it was a terrorist attack. Oh, it was a virus. It was, oh my God. You know, it's always something. And I never want to see these people take any personal responsibility for any of these problems that they cause, you know. So that's why this government needs to be reformed, you know. They, they're talking about restructuring business. How about restructure the government for everything that they've done to us, you know. This is something that I think needs to take place. I know that there's a lot of people out there that support Trump. And you know what? I think if he's the president of the United States, then we should give him as much power as we can to hopefully see that he does the right thing. Sorry, I almost got stung by a hornet. Uh, maybe my shirt. It's not, I don't know. But like, yeah, if anything, I'd like to see this president make some difference. But I'm, I'm not as optimistic as other people about this because the guy's a billionaire, you know, just like Bill Gates. You know, what do you guys really think that this guy has our best interests at heart uh, being a billionaire? Uh, in a position of power, like Bill Gates, a billionaire in a position of power. I'd like to see you separate one person from the other, other than looks. You know, they're pretty much the same people. Uh, they like control, they like power, they like money. I don't know where this is all headed, but I can tell you something right now. Wherever it's headed, I'm trying to be as prepared as possible for it, and that's something that I encourage you guys to do as well. Uh, so if you guys can, be as prepared as you can. Get your security in order. Get your finances in order. You know, um, get right with your family members. That way you have uh, other options if things go south. You know, something like that. At the end of the day, it's about keeping your family safe, continuing your family, and uh, taking care of them. Guys, I think we're about to get some rain down here. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy my content. So if you can, please leave a comment down in the comment section. Please uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Have a great day and stay safe.